Hi, thanks for clicking on this video. Glad that you are joining us in Praise and Pray today. I hope to see you in physical for the next meeting. Let's dive right into the Word of God. Today's text is taken from the priestly blessing in the book of Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. This text is located in the middle of a major section of Numbers chapter 1 to chapter 10. It describes Israel's preparations for leaving Mount Sinai and the continuation of its journey through the wilderness to the Promised Land. For your info, Mount Sinai is where the Israelites camped for almost a year after the dramatic escape from Egypt. This priestly blessing is designated for Israel's time of departure from Sinai and was to be used daily throughout their journey. This is a blessing for a journey. In each line of words, God is the subject. God is the initiator in all six clauses. Bless, keep, make his face shine, be gracious, lift up countenance and give peace. The six verbs together cover God's benevolent activity from various angles and also state God's gracious will for his people. The central message of the blessing is stated in the closing Hebrew word Shalom, which is translated peace. In English, peace connotes the absence of war. It can also describe a state of tranquility. These meanings are also in the Hebrew. But the peace of God in the priestly blessing embraces even more aspects of life. Just like the diamonds, blessing has many facets. It includes good health, security, inner harmony, wellness, material prosperity, and a long life. The broad and rich meaning of peace in the priestly blessing reinforces the role of holiness in the life of Israel. In addition, this shalom is not simply the absence of war. It is harmony between conflicting forces. Because of sin, that conflict is between us and the Lord, between us and others, even within ourselves. Shalom is a peace that results when barriers are torn down and all hostilities cease, bringing a condition of rest. This all-encompassing peace goes beyond human understanding. This is a peace that is with us in good times and bad, that infuses our body, soul and spirit. This same peace begins with the Lord and moves out into all areas of our life. What a tremendous thing that the Lord blesses us with. On top of everything else Jesus has given to you and me. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for giving us a precious jewel, Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have peace with you. Even though we are undeserving, but your grace and mercy brought us to you. Lord, we pray for healing, protection and prosperity over our life. We know that your blessings come through in many forms. I ask that in times of our sufferings and struggle, we will not give up this faith. Lord, as we continue on this journey until the day you come again, I ask for your blessing and covering over all of us. Let us bless one another with this scripture. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.